previously on Warriors of the Mong Kong. Hi, my name is Luis Regis. I'm 28 years old. I'm owner and fight out of SRG Thai Boxing Gym. After six months of training, I had my first fight and that was it. I was hooked up in Muay Thai and I kept on fighting, you know, a few injuries here and then and I'm still fighting today. Um, of course, now professionally, I make money. This is what I do for, for the living, you know. Working full time, training twice a day, and having a family, it was very, very hard. I had times in my life that I thought about giving up, but I just kept my head up and kept running, you know, every day, running, running, and training, and training. And I kept having one fight, step by step, fighting one, beating one people, beating one person, losing one fight, winning one fight. And I kept growing my name, and I knew that if I keep doing that, I was, I was gonna get, you know, in my goal and open a gym. So. I opened my gym about three, four years ago, and um, same thing, slowly, step by step, not worrying about money so much, but following my dream. I've, I've got where I am today, you know, I, I have my gym, I train people, I do what I love, I can train full time, I can get in the level of uh, fighting that I want, you know, which is, which is, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be a world champion, and I know I'm gonna get there. I, I'm 28 years old, I tell you now, by 30 years old, I'm gonna be a world champion and, and there's no one's gonna stop me doing that. And uh, no matter if they tell me that I can't go this way, I'll go the other way and I go on the top, I don't care, I'll, I'll get this belt and, you know, and I'm just gonna prove to myself, it, not no one else, but I'll prove to myself that all I wish when I was, you know, young, it's gonna become true and, and I wanna show people that they can do that, you know. Being a full-time trainer and fighter, Regis has established an impressive and respectable status in the Muay Thai community and remains a humble body with a great passion to pass on his knowledge of the sport. With great desires for becoming a world champion, Regis juggles all of his time and effort between his family, his gym and his ambitions to one day earn the title that he has worked so hard for. Uh, living in Sydney for me, it's, uh, it's really good because um, in the same time, I'm really close to the ocean and I'm close to the city, I'm close to my gym. Everything is just easy, you know. I can come to work and then I can go for the surf. In, in 10 minutes, I'm down the, on, on the beach and surf and I can come back to work. It just makes life way easier. And um, the ocean for me is like escape, you know. I'll, I'll be just sitting there and I can feel the connection. I'm, I'm just close to everything. I can, I, I'll be close to my family in Brazil. Everything is just there. I find that in life it's all about balance, so living far away from the ocean doesn't really work for me. I mean, I've been in Bangkok a lot of times training, it's, it's different, I focus on that, but when, when it becomes to live your life every day, every day, I like to be close to the ocean, I like to go for swim, I like to go surfing, I like to go fishing, you know, I like to go for a walk and, and even meditate in front of the ocean, just relax. I like the breeze of the ocean, you know, everything just uh, brings, me, brings me happiness, you know. I'm training for the, a big fight for me. It's uh, Rio Hero Muay Thai. It's, uh, it's Australian versus Thailand. Um, I've got, um, the Thais chose me as a, the, the captain for Australia, which is, you know, which I'm really happy with it. It's got some big names in the card, you know, Young Gun, Toby Smith, coming, ripping everything off. And we got um, Michael 300. And uh, I'm here representing Sydney. You know, Sydney still a lot to give uh, Muay Thai and a lot, a lot to give to Australia. Training for this fight against Yotsen Paul, I've had uh, good preparation with uh, Iron and Matt Douglas, also Dizolak. Dizolak um, has been clinching a lot with me and making me work really hard with the kicks and this. So it's fighting a Thai, it's always good to train with the Thai. So I got Dizolak over to train for this fight. And uh, yeah, just pushing forward, you know, putting the pressure, because I know the Thais like to sit back a bit and use all the technique. I'm going to try to push forward a little bit for this fight. I know Yotz and Paul's got, got good hands, so hopefully, you know, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll use my kicks and uh, we'll be able to keep him away from me and uh, do some, you know, different stuff, making the crowd happy and bring the, the, the big W home. Diesel Lack is a world-class fighter on loan at SRG Gym for the last year. With over 220 fights to his name, he has been of great value to the gym. Diesel Lack started training Muay Thai at the age of 12, and after two short months, he would have his first fight, kick-starting what would become a promising career in the sport. The two-time WMC and WPMF champion 
Reg Dan Nurm Stadium Champion and WKF World Champion, has taken on some of the best and brightest throughout the years and continues on with an active fighting schedule. Dieselek has come up against fellow Thais such as Sayok, Kem, Nontachai and Atachai, fighting between 70 and 75 kilos and having had fought all around the world including England, Germany and France, he has experienced his share of diversity in the Muay Thai scene, particularly against his Western opponents. Although an all-round resilient fighter, Dieselek is predominantly a clinch fighter and favours his knees as his greatest strength inside the ring. Lingering injuries can often resurface throughout training and over time, a frustrating occurrence for any fighter, but is also part and parcel of the game. Working around injuries is an alternative to maintain training, but nonetheless, listening to the body should always be a priority. Time has come, and despite some last minute bumps in an otherwise productive road to this event, Regis has continued on to grace the canvas once again. On a show like this, where Australia takes on Thailand, the atmosphere takes the form of a much deeper level. No matter where the location, Westerner against Thai is a sacred experience. Going up against those where Muay Thai is their national sport and often a means of survival, the fight takes on a whole other level of competition and honour. For the love of the sport, we endure a lot of pain and sacrifice on many levels. It is easy for outsiders to question why, why I do it. But for those who know the unconditional love of Thai boxing, there is no need for an explanation. Inside the spirit of Anak Moy is the hidden answer to every why. Representing Australia on the canvas against Thailand's Jotsen Pol Pol Brapa, Louis Regis has come with intention to end an intense battle with his hand raised proudly in the air. Like the face of a lion who has seen battle, each scar of a fighter represents a different challenge faced, a badge of honour received by those that dared stand tall to stand fearless. Whether a winner or a loss, the mere application of commitment to training and stepping into the ring is a genuine testament of a fighter. Some of the greatest emotions in this world cannot be expressed through words. Heart is one of them. It is through action we can clearly see the presence of passion and the presence of heart. Heart 
heart is one of the most essential characteristics in a fighter. It is what will accompany them in their toughest times. It is what will push them that extra mile just when they think they are running on empty. Our legacy is not found in all the things we've accumulated in our lifetime. It is written in the memories of those whose lives we've touched along the way. always showing respect to their opponent, for without them, the test of willpower and skill would go unmeasured. Australia's Michael Bedardo has come to take on Thailand's Sak Chai. Bedardo is an elite Thai boxer, training under his brother Reinhardt, at Full Force Gym in Sydney, holding both IKBF and WKBF world titles around his waist, plus the WBC 75 kilogram Australian title. Bedardo has seen great success and has earned a quality reputation in the sport. As the real hero card progresses throughout the night, it is clear that the Australian fighters have achieved a great sense of honour in representing themselves and their country in a spirited battle against their much respected opponents hailing from the kingdom. The beauty of a fighter's achievements and journey, whether great or small, is the inevitable domino effect result which sees them inspiring others to set goals and ambitions of their own. One of Toby's toughest fights to date, the weapon takes on Lumpini champion Superbon at Real Hero in a three round battle of epic proportion. Living and training in Thailand has seen Toby take on a number of top ranked Thais early on in his career. This allows him a greater sense of confidence and game plan in what to expect on the canvas. As trainer and father Blair Smith looks on as his pride and joy wages an eight-limb war against Superbon, young Toby puts on an inspiring display of superior technique and work rate inside the ring. True to his nickname, The Weapon, Toby sells it on the canvas and shows onlookers just how a Westerner can mirror the authenticity of a Thai boxer with an elite performance of pure skill and heart.
As the blood streams down Toby's face and the theatrical display of elbows are exchanged in a glorified war of skill and endurance, the fight rages on as the level of intensity grows stronger with each passing second. A shower of blood rushes down, but the weapon, Toby Smith, is not one to surrender midway of battle. His intentions are clear and his willpower unbreakable. A few short moments with his corner men and he will be ready to step out to finish strong against Superbon. son have done it again, another victory to add to his collection. Toby Smith represents the true warrior spirit and only 21 years old, he has the whole world still ahead of him. That's how it's done. Devoted fighter and father, Louis Regis has established himself gracefully with a fulfilling lifestyle surrounded by his friends, family and supporters. Certainly one of the greatest accomplishments in itself. Although the subject of patience is one we try to avoid, Regis, like many fighters, knows that patience is essential in all aspects of life. Whether it be an injury causing a delay or an obstacle in your routine, whether improvements may be lacking or seem to be a lengthy development, or even the feeling of being idle from a shortage in opportunity to train with your trainer, whatever the reason may be, truth is, nobody can escape the reality of time. You can't force recovery, but you can adapt and practice around injuries and ensure that you listen to your body and take care of it to promote recovery and or reduce the risk of injuries. You can't rush improvements, but maybe you could work a little harder or a little bit more frequently to help you sculpt your craft. Aim to execute something a little better each time you do it. You can't depend solely on others, whether it be trainers or training partners, to develop or maintain your craft, you must learn to master independence as a skill. Work on things by yourself in your own time as well. Conquer solitude and your self-confidence will shine. Above all, stop overanalyzing time. You can't fight it, but you can work with it. Adapt to it, challenge it, and do whatever you can with the time that has been given to you by nature. E a 
vida harmoniza Quando vejo você Thank you.